Number 19, letter A. If your speedometer has an uncertainty of 2.0 kilometers per hour at a speed of 90 kilometers per hour, what is the percent uncertainty? Okay, so first thing I notice is that there is a little bit of ambiguity between the significance of the uncertainty and the significant figures found in the speed. So what am I, what am, what am I saying? Basically, so if I were to write this value out of the speed with its associated uncertainty, it would be it would look like this: ninety uh, kilometers per hour, plus or minus two point zero kilometers per hour. Okay. The issue is this: the uncertainty tells me that I do or am able to uh, analyze the speed out to the tenths place, but the speed that is given only goes out to the ones place, assuming the decimal is present, which it needs to be actually in this problem. So the way that these numbers are presented in this question are really a little too vague, and I'm going to make it a, uh, a little more rigorous. Okay, Otherwise, we're going to get values all over the place. So now, really, the speedometer should have read 90.0 kilometers per hour, plus or minus 2.0 kilometers per hour, okay? I decided to make it more precise. Uh, the other way I could have done it would be to say, well, I should actually chop that zero off and just say it's plus or minus two kilometers per hour. And therefore now both my uncertainty value and the measurement value would have the same um, uncertainty, meaning they would be known to the one's place. Uh, in this case, I just decided to go the opposite direction. But it, it, it doesn't matter. I mean, it'll matter in terms of the final answers, but I have to make one of those uh, decisions at the beginning because otherwise the question is really uh, improper. Okay, so that being said, let's let's work off of uh, off of this. So now it says, what is the percent uncertainty? of this measurement. Okay, so we have to remember our formula. So percent uncertainty in the measurement is equal to the uncertainty of the measurement divided by the measurement itself multiplied by 100. So now if I'm trying to find the percent uncertainty, I better know the actual uncertainty value, which we do, right? It told us it was 2.0 kilometers per hour. And then divide that by 90.0 kilometers per hour and then multiply that by 100. Okay, now notice the units are the same and that better be the case. Okay, if they're not the same, you have to convert. Reason being is because percents are unit less and the uh, units will cancel. Okay, so now all we have to do here is just plug this into the calculator. All right, so uh, 2.0, you don't have to use the 0, .0 but two divided by 90, multiplied by then 100, works out to a value of 2.222, right, percent. Now, the answer should have no more significant figures than the value with the least. And the numerator had two significant figures, whereas the, whereas the denominator had three. So my answer cannot have more than two significant figures. So now all I need to do is just round this slightly. So the percent uncertainty will be equal to 2.2%. Okay, great. That would be the answer to part A. So now part B, it says, if it has the same percent uncertainty when it reads 60 kilometers per hour, what is the range of speed you could be going? All right, so again, same issue here. This number really should be written as 60.0 kilometers per hour. Okay, so now I'm gonna use that in my calculation. So again, I need to use the same percent uncertainty formula because what we're really looking for in order to find the range, we have to find the actual uncertainty. So meaning I'm looking for this variable in the numerator. I'm looking for the actual uncertainty of the measurement divided by the measurement itself multiplied by 100. That's the formula. So it says to use this same percent uncertainty. So this will be 2.2. I want to find the actual uncertainty. And the measurement we took was 60.0 and multiply that by 100. So now when you do the math here, we're going to take 2.2. So 2.2, multiply that by 60. And remember, only two significant figures here. So uh, the value will work out to be, I'm not going to include the decimal, 
Okay, so it's going to work out to about 13, uh, 130. All right, that'll equal now the uncertainty multiplied by the 100, by 100. Divide out the 100, divide out the 100. So my uncertainty now is equal to, right? If we just chop that, right? We move the decimal two places over, it would just be simply 1.3. And again, two significant figures. Okay, great. So this is the uncertainty, all right, associated with the measured speed of 60.0 kilometers per hour. Now, it doesn't want to know just the uncertainty. It wants to know the range of speeds. So from here, this really is fairly straightforward. So let's just write what we know. So we know it's 60.0 kilometers per hour plus or minus 1.3 kilometers per hour. And now notice again, my uncertainty value goes out to the tenths place and so does my uh, measured value. If I didn't correct for that in the beginning of this problem, we wouldn't have that consistency. And that's actually a good way to check and make sure you're on the right track. The amount of decimal places found on your uncertainty better match the number of decimal places found in your measurement. Okay, so now all it wants to know uh, are the ranges. So basically, all we need to do now is add 1.3 to 60 and then subtract, right? 1.3 from 60. So when we add it, uh, so when we add 1.3 to 60, right, we're going to get, so the upper range, let me actually, I'll draw a little arrow here. And let me change the color, make it a little more colorful. So when I add the value, we get a value of 61.3, right, kilometers per hour. And when I now subtract the value, so when I subtract it, it should come out to 58.7 kilometers per hour. And now notice both of these uh, values go out to the tenths place again. It's all consistent. So notice the number on the left is the upper range, right? And then the value on the uh, right hand side is the lower range. And now that would be a complete answer to the problem. Thank you guys for tuning in. Hope this helped. If it did, please don't forget to subscribe.